Be a quick overview to kind of document so I <laughs> like a sanity check for later the materials I got. Um, I think there's, these are these are all uh, 99 cents the pillowcases, and this was a buck 99. This was a kind of I don't know I don't really know my this is like a throw with the girls. It seems like a soft fabric. I thought it'd make a good hinky material. Um, it doesn't look too, you know, I guess it's kind of hip, flowery, but, um, you know, doesn't, doesn't, uh, it's too feminine, I guess, for a hinky at least. Now, these ones are going to be the more traditional, and I can't believe how good condition. These look really clean for white. Now, I got two of these. Somebody uh, did a neat, I uh, guess that's crochet or knitting. Um, pretty, pretty design. It's a pair there. And these ones are, uh, these ones are cotton, so this is cotton, cotton. Uh, this one's a soft one, I thought it felt really good. Uh, let's see the big one, where's that at? This one's 100% uh, polyester. Um, and then this one is uh, flannel, soft feeling too. I don't know if Bowen knows on flannel how that's going to be, but um, maybe it'd be a napkin material, it's a little thicker. And that one's 100% uh, cotton, so um, I'm going to go ahead and pause and go through the other materials next. Okay, get through the um, other um, places. The, the, that was one Goodwill location stores finds. Um, these uh, was from the outlet, so I got two of, I think these are the same. They're kind of in that same area. There's some pink, uh, I guess I could have said they're salmon, I kind of probably should have grabbed those, but these are like a napkin material, and um, these are all cotton, so, um, this, I don't know, I think this is a curtain hanger top, and I read on one of the, um, is, or no, I didn't read, I think it was a YouTube video I watched, um, Glory, uh, Glory Allen, yeah, Glory Allen, he had a hoodie, He's got a hoodie tutorial on, I think, um, uh, free patterns and some other stuff. And he had mentioned, and if it wasn't him, it was somebody else, probably in my history, uh, the YouTube channel. I'm almost thinking it may have been one other place, too. But um, he mentioned, too, or somebody else had mentioned curtains are a good source of material also to practice with. So it's, you know, not, not you know, um, oh, wait. Uh, I've got family, even from the Mac. So Michigan Agricultural College, so like I can't, you know, Michigan State, I can't go run there. At least practicing on. I don't know if I sport the outfit as much, but <laughs> anyways, man, there's a fine young lady out there that can sport. I mean, you know, anyways, they're sporting me. But um, feel free to make a comment down below if you got any suggestions, questions, comments. Uh, hit the like. Um, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you're really into this. I need it more for a sanity check. I got serious doing this. But anyways, I'll get back to the materials. Um, this one's 100% cotton. And this one, uh, this one's like a really soft, I almost think this is a hanky already, but it's kind of big, so maybe it has some other uh, utility, but I, I guess I want to note too when I start doing these sewing, man, these are some really, really thin hems. So that'll be interesting. I gotta find a good book. If you know a good book, leave a comment down below. Um, how to do those hems, but I need to read into them more. This is another material I thought was really soft, and um, I think these are more like the silk materials. I think this is like a woman's scarf. So I'm guessing. Um, it's a polyester. This one didn't have a label, um, but man, it's a really soft one, like a silk. And I was, I was keeping my eyes peeled for silk too, and I, you know, I only saw silk polyester stuff. But um, this is another one of those really soft materials. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe somebody's practiced sewing thing, or maybe it's a scarf or something. I don't know. Comment down below if you know. I have no idea. I figured it'd be soft and good for a hinky material. This is a pillowcase a gal suggested um, I, I consider. And, um, you know, this is like another good source of material for handkerchiefs. So it's kind of cool, man. She's weird. I think we had talked at one, one of the outlet bins. And then she, you know, uh, showed up next to me with this and handed it to me. and was like, you know, this would be a good one, a good material. So we have a king, king stays. Uh, 
microfiber, the polyester. So, yeah, this must be a microfiber polyester. So, this one has a soft one, I agree. I didn't really think about the microfiber. This one, I don't know. This was a... Uh, oh, yeah, the label's cut off on it. I don't know what this is. This was a scarf. Um... I don't know. Seems real soft though. So it's uh should be good for a hanky material. Might be a little thin, but this was kind of a random, I don't know. It's it's a yellow fabric. Um I think this is was this cashmere? Oh no, this is a rayon. This that's right, that's right. This is uh this is one of those like I saw a rayon thread and four axes and I see super large um, seems like that'd be a really good, um, let's see, yeah, 78% rayon, 20% viscous, 4% elastic. This I thought would be a good stretchy hat material, so I thought this would be a, might be a soft, even if it's not the inner liner, I don't know, it might be okay inner liner. Um, that, yeah, I was thinking hat material, um, I guess could try gloves. This looks like it's already cut, like fabric. And this hasn't got a label on, but this is really soft. I don't know if it's got sateen or, I don't know. But um, I'm not really good with my threads. I kind of sort of did for a period. That's when I was looking at sheets or something like that. Hypoallergenic. It's another scarf. This was uh, actually, I don't, this one was, um, I think this one was where I got the sewing machine. I think that was from that Goodwill. Yeah, this is Italian silk. Uh, silken polyester. So this is the, the first Goodwill where I got the 1400 sewing machine. And then um, this, these I got in Jenison. Um, they're, you know, they're new. So it's kind of support the Goodwill cause. And then this is a scarf that, this is also, these two are together at the um, Cedar Springs. And this is 100% polyester fleece, but it's two layers. So it's one of those, I don't know, I might be able to turn it inside out and just cut and make a gaiter, do a hem on the one, the two sides, and then that's good to go. Um, and then I was thinking, since it's so big, I could make a pair of gloves and a hat out of it, you know, so I got like an infinity, I don't know if they call it infinity, like a continuing scarf or a gaiter, I don't know if I'll make it bigger, just probably make a gaiter, and then I can make a pair of gloves out because it's too, too, too layer. And then um, I can make a hat out of it, too. So that would be a good practice material, you know, to do. Hey, it's, these, these scarves are like a buck fifty, you know. So, all right. Um, this over uh, the uh, iron, this is uh, power, power to effective comfort model. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's not going to focus for me. Oh, focus for me. There we go. And this one's good to go. It seemed to be tested okay, other than uh, she's been beat up. So a little bit of missing plastic, though I could probably plastic weld or 3D print, you know, fill in that piece of cake. Um, stopped in, had a neat conversation with a gal at Dollar Tree, too, which is pretty cool. Um, that was really neat. But I got some extra baby love because now it's the Dollar 25 tree. Unless you order online in cases, I guess you can still order online, I hear at least, and deliver to the store, and it's still a buck, but I don't know. Um, oh, you know, Ron, if you're watching this, this is a HD clear tape, the duct tape. Oh, that's, that might spell it D-U-C-T. Um, yeah, this is the stuff I use. And technically, I need to get some of that up on my, uh, in front of my engine radiator. I don't, if I understand right with the previous, I don't want to put it in front of the inverter radiator, um, but that uh, will be my 100 mile per hour tape to uh, keep the uh, radiator warmer, because I know in my car, once it gets, I break that 55 degree rule outside, it gets below 55 degrees, and I go over 55 miles per hour, I'm not under 55 miles per hour, I do not see 55 miles per gallon, uh, but when it's warm out, I, I still can after 250,000 miles, but anyways... Um, I did buy some handkerchiefs because I found them um, at the Walmart. I don't know if I'm going to keep both of these. I might return them. So um, I even have like a thing of Zoom oil from Walmart. I was thinking I was going to return because um, I figure the baby love will work for now because I just don't sew that much. 
So I figure I'm oiling them enough where I just, I'm, I'm over oiling them. The baby loves okay until, you know, I get them cleaned out. And I want to sew more aggressively. And then, I don't know, I kind of want to do PTFE tri-flow, but maybe that'd be the way to do for at least maintaining. I don't know. I should probably still oil to maintain. Um, these I found here, these are mom's uh, tablecloth material, like a vinyl kind of furry material. Um, like a cheap, kind of like the nicest boat liner, boat yacht cover like material. But um, cheaper, <laughs> way cheaper. But I was thinking I, this would be the underlayment for this um, sewing machine cabinet. So I'll make a, 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 a the um, a table cloth. Yeah, okay, tablecloth with this and then have a different service. I'm going to pause and then show the other materials I got, which I found at the outlet that I guess would be maybe a better um, place setting mat, I think, or something like that it's called. Okay, I couldn't remember, and then I think I remembered it. I still am not confident I remembered. That's why it's kind of cool documenting this stuff on YouTube. I, I wanted to get some of this, like, foam stuff for, I think it was to line the back of the car and then i decided because it's not a smooth surface that it won't be as easy to slide items in and out the back um but it might be kind of cool as a mat maybe i don't know if i like you know i usually been see sleeping in the seat when i last road trips i haven't really been camping or living you know out of my super hyper myelin motorhome like i was uh for a couple you know for a, a few years um traveling and whatnot uh, i just haven't been making that since covid as much a long road trips but anyways, these were these are light and like a buck or something. So this foam stuff, hey, it's EVA foam or something they call. It. I forget what they call it, but I don't like cosplay people do it or whatever. Um, but I figured that'd be good to um, get while I was there at the outlet. This is also stuff I got from the outlet. These are placemats, a little heavier, but they're neoprene, and I thought maybe this would even be better than that. Um, so this is kind of the new yesterday random find and then i found two of these they actually they had more but i was like i don't know i'm just gonna get two of them oh there's a label on the one okay so focus there we go yeah vinyl so these are like these are like not neoprene oh there's i didn't, I didn't even notice those okay so anyways there's uh some labels on there so that's um Man, focus is just not being cooperative. So that's kind of a nice setting. That kind of blends. I thought these colors kind of blend in here okay. So these might be something I put on for instead of this material. I might put that back in the closet. Or maybe I'll just use it for practice. Because it's a little beat up. Um, practice um, sewing. Sewing with like multiple materials. Because that's like I do a cloth over this. But then again, maybe... Like, I don't know, like Velcro or something you could do like on cloth, or maybe that doesn't won't wash as well. But I'm saying that, and put like cloth over that for you know uh, easier cleaning. That can wipe this down, but I don't know. Well, I got these mat mats, so I'll kind of figure out maybe I'll do that over the wood. Um, okay, well, I'm at 13 minutes. I'm super long rambling, but I want to document. I want to document some of these materials, and I can go back with the video if my focus is in a lot of whack and screenshot to get um, photos. But um, yeah. It's that Coblo Lemonex stuff, it's kind of like decon time for cleaning next. So I get the free breeze odor off all this because um, I think my sinuses are already jammed up from exposure to it. And then hopefully my skin doesn't break out. Uh, but anyways, okay, uh, be safe, stay healthy, and until next time, Christ be with you.